All right, hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today, this is once again another part of my quick tip series on my channel. You can visit that later for more. But right now and today, what we're going to be talking about is viewport rendering and animation rendering from the viewport directly. Now, this is a really cool feature of Blender that allows us to quickly preview our work without doing all the extra compositing, ray tracing that can, you know, really take a while, especially if your frames have a lot of detail in them or your computer's not that good. The, this technique allows us to quickly view a rough copy of our animations, even with sound um, that you've already put in the video sequence editor. So here I have the default view minus the uh, lamp in Blender, and I'm going to first show you um, how to render. Um, just a simple image from the viewport. So what we're going to do basically is just get this viewport image right here from the camera. So all I do here is uh, click OpenGL Render Active Viewport. It's at the bottom of the 3D viewport, and it's this little camera. We click that, and you know, within seconds, here you go. Now, it might take a little bit longer on older computers. I also know that um, a while ago in Blender, this has been a feature in the trunk for a long time, but a while ago it seemed that OpenGL was extremely slow on my machine. That could be me in particular, or that could be Blender. I'm not sure because I um, did not try that particular version of Blender out on any other machine, but I believe that problem has been solved, um, whether it be for my machine individually or for Blender as a whole. And um, it's not present in uh, 2.6 and beyond uh, so far as I previewed. So that's just something to keep in mind, but this is a really helpful technique. Um, I don't really often use OpenGL render the active viewport, but I do usually do an animation. So what we can do here is um, uh, just move it, you know, make a quick animation here where the cube basically just moves across the screen in 60 frames right up here. Um, the other benefit of, uh, once again, rendering from the viewport is it's extremely fast because it's not rendering all your materials. It's just rendering, you know, basic colors of things in the viewport. So you see we have here, um, the image and you know if we were to do this out as a render it would render out an animation but what is it rendering out and where is it rendering out to well this is all controlled by our output here just as any other image or animation would be so it's going to save the uh, the OpenGL active viewport render wherever you put it so I'm gonna save to my temp directory and you can see there's a lot of quick saves here and I'm gonna just call this uh, viewport render and uh, this is just for an example purpose. So I'm gonna make sure that everything is saved into that folder. Now, you can see here, we have uh, you know the same options as every other thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and if I was gonna do a movie and I had, you know, say sound of the cube, you know, whooshing as it went by, if I had sound in the VSE and I made sure to add a codec when I was rendering out as an M MPEG file, if I made sure to, you know, just put MP3 here or AAC, it would in fact render sound with that animation. And all it is is just, you know, this basic, let me just render this out right here. You can see here also that when you have an object selected, it will be selected in the final thing. This is also something, and it's okay, and uh, it's actually quite nice to see. But this just gives you a quick preview and um, images for storyboarding. If you are storyboarding and you've started the basic animation process, this also gives you a quick preview at what the camera angles and everything will look look like because you might not be able to run a full 24 frames in Blender, especially when you have a lot of subsurfaced objects. Um, so you can just basically render out this uh, MPEG file and then you can view it quickly and easily and uh, it's very nice. And so you'll see we have that finished. So if I go to my temp folder now in my uh, on my drive here, you can see it's, uh, there's all these files here, a lot of stuff. Where is it? And it is right here, viewport render. So you see it's a DVD file. I can't play these by default, but I can quickly just change this to um, say an AVI and have it be MPEG-4. So, and all I have to do is render animation, but not there. We want to make sure, because that is important, you know, animate, render animation will render out the actual animation. We want to render the viewport. So it's important to know that there is no way to render from the render pane the viewport. Um, it's also important to know that basically while you're doing the viewport rendering, since it requires OpenGL, it freezes up Blender um, a little bit at least. You can't click anywhere else and you can't change through things. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you're doing especially a long one that may take away a little bit of time, you may want to just you know leave your computer and get a cup of coffee or go grab a bite to eat because uh, it does take a little bit of time. Although you know with this scene, it's fairly simple. So you can see here now that we have the AVI, we can quickly watch this and taking a little bit to load up and see, there you go. And there's our viewport. All right, well, that's about it for today. I hope you all learned something here today and I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much.